Hi everyone, good afternoon here in the Al Hasa. And once again, this is uh, Pinoy Hasawi. And uh, in today's uh, video, I uh, gonna share it to you. And for those who want to uh, watch this video, I'm uh, gonna share it uh, to you regarding the, the inside of the elevator. So, and by the way, this is a new type of uh, uh, elevator and uh, the controller is here all right and uh, i'm gonna open okay this is the controller area and uh, there is a remote control for air conditioning okay and this is uh, a drive package the control of the elevator also inside so this is the controller now I uh, will close and this is inside uh, we call it shafting we're in uh, the cabin what's here all right now uh, I'm going to the top of this cabin. Now I'm here inside uh, the shaft of uh, shafting of this elevator, and uh, I am on the top of the cabin. Exactly, I'm on the top of the cabin. So inside this cabin, where the passenger can uh, ride on and uh, they can select the, the floor or the destination, the floor destination uh, according to uh, the floor that they wanted to go. And inside this elevator, here, inside the shafting, there is a machine here, on the right. So what I have told you a while ago, this is a new type of elevator. Okay. This type of elevator, we call it uh, MRL, Machine Room Less, MRL. So, uh, wala na siyang machine room. There is no machine room. So, this type of elevator, there is no machine room. So, instead of uh, fixing the machine or uh, making a machine room from the rooftop of the building, this kind of elevator, we use it MRL or machine room less. So, there is no machine room. The machine uh, for the motor of this elevator that carries uh, this uh, cabin with the passenger was uh, fixated here on top of this uh, reel or we call it main reel this uh, metal reel all right and uh, of course there is also fixed uh, reconditioning here split tight to uh, cold down the temperature or the high temperature or the hot uh, of this uh, machine so the cold also will goes down to the cabin so the passenger inside the cabin 
วิลล่าคอมฟอร์ตบอลและเดี๋ยวฟิลโคลด์ด้วยซ้ำซึ่งนั้นผมบอกว่าผมได้ยินว่านี่คือแบบใหม่ของรถไฟ And uh, this kind of elevator is uh, equipped with the, we call it uh, a belt type. Instead of using uh, only a roof, steel roof, like this, now we are using a belt. Type uh, uh, we call it uh, still we call it uh, rope, but this is um, coated with uh, rubber. There is a uh, rope or a steel rope inside for this belt. And it was covered with a rubber, so this is the only one. Both of these three has the capacity to carry out the load of this elevator. And this elevator, the capacity is 1,000 kilograms. 1,000 kilograms. All right. So in person, there is uh, a rating there. Only a capacity of a number of eight persons. Okay. This is the landing door, and uh, this is. Uh, number nine floor but uh, there is a basement in this elevator so it is counted uh, if you uh, count it floor by floor it is uh, having uh, 12 floors this building is we call it uh, med rice building because it is already more than 10 10 uh, floors so uh, this building having a 12 floors so, all right so now I have to go down by using this control there is a control box here because I have to go down to check what is the problem why uh, this elevator stop in the first floor or in uh, the ground floor all right so I have to post here for those people uh, who want to know how to manage or how to uh, control this elevator while you are on the top of the cabin so this is the way you control there is a selector here and it is written here inspection and there is also here a normal All right let me focus okay so this is clear enough here is a normal and here is in inspection so if you are going to select here normal so it will automatically run automatically run the elevator is automatically run and if you're gonna select here in the inspection mode so you can drive by manual only and this is a push button stop or stop button the color red for also a control fully control of the elevator you can press this one and you can release it once you press this thumb the elevator cannot move it 
was already stopped then you can release and then you can control and by the way this is a common button and this is a down direction button you can see here where is it down and this is going to up upward direction All right so this is upward direction it is written here car up and this is car down meaning we call it also car this cabin we call it car all right now if i'm gonna push this common with the down direction then this elevator will go down and if i'm gonna push this common with together with the up direction then it will go up right so right now i have to push this together so it will know now going down all right so it is already going down okay so remember this building is a 12 floors or 12 stops now it is running but this is already it is only running uh, in a speed of uh, 300 uh, meters per second 300 meters per second so it's very slow because this is manual running all right so as you can see here i am already here in the seventh floor okay <coughs> Now I'm here now in the sixth floor. All right, sixth floor. It is already written here in the uh, landing door for the indicator or the indication. If you are working inside or if you are working on top of this cabin or on top of this car. Okay, so now I just uh, have to check. And by the way, I'm wearing this uh, light. Okay, this is for uh, convenient to use, so I can uh, easily move like this and like that. So no need to hold by hand. I just. Uh, for uh, lights, this is LED light, so it could easily move. Okay, so uh, I have to continue to go up or to go down, rather. Now I have to push again together, come on, button, and down the button. Okay, now it is running down. All right, and uh, this time I'm here in the fourth floor. Because according to the management here or the manager here, some people are renovating fourth floor. Uh, so I think this is the problem. So one of the problem, the contact of this landing door was broken. So this is the mechanical lock, and uh, somebody asked regarding uh, uh, the emergency. When somebody trapped inside the elevator, how could I open the, the door from outside? So this is the mechanical. You cannot 
easily open the landing door if you don't have the unlocking key so those people who want to know this is the unlocking key all right this is the unlocking key which you can use it from outside so now i have to open the door and this is for floor okay so somebody are renovating this fourth floor okay so i have to close the door and uh, later on i will uh, demonstrate how to open or how to unlock the landing door if someone is trapped inside a cabin or inside the car of this elevator all right let us go on to the next floor this is still in the fourth floor now so i have to go down in the second floor okay and uh, by the way i have to uh, show you this uh, we call it counterweight this is the counterweight and this is made up of uh, concrete and combination with metal so while this counterweight is going up the cabin is going down this is directly opposite direction this counterweight let's say I have to push or I have to bring down the cabin so observe what will happen to the counter width here and uh, let me first bring up the cabin so you can see here see the counter width is also moving down direction so what is the purpose really of the counter width the counter width is the main purpose is to balance the cabin or the, the car this is the balancing only the counterweight is the balancing uh, for, uh, the balancing uh, we call it uh, to balance the cabin and uh, the load of the cabin and also of the counterweight is almost uh, directly proportional all right so if I'm going uh, if I will bring down the cabin so as you can see here the counter weight is going up all right so this is the purpose of the counter weight to balance the cabin okay and so what I have said a while ago, this is uh, the the I call it uh, steel belt. Why uh, steel belt? Because there is a steel roof inside this belt, and also coated with the rubber from outside. So this is the one only carrying the load of this elevator. So imagine guys, if this elevator was loaded with uh, 10 people, this, we call it uh, uh, roof or steel belt coated with rubber, is the one carrying the load of the 